the spring is my favorite time of the year. Everything comes alive and migrating birds are coming back to Norway to nest. And there's so much life and so much going on in the spring. So it's really easy to get caught away and just like want to do everything. So it's really good to have a plan uh, what you want to photograph. Um, and of course you wish you were like every places at once, but you cannot do that. So it's really good to have a plan and think about what kind of species you want to photograph this year here. So what I started to do this year here is just to go to my places where uh, the dipper normally are and have a little look, see if there is uh, droppings on the rocks or any kind of signs, maybe see the dipper and uh, just preparing for the coming spring to like photograph them. So that is, uh, I have done that uh, one day, but still it's too much water in the river. I'm out looking for the dipper scouting in an old area and see if I can see some birds but it's too much water in the river and uh, it's so hard for them to find some place to look for food in this area where I normally used to photograph the dipper and I think it's actually I need to wait until it's much lesser water in the river to get any possibility to photograph the dipper here. I did not see the bird here as well, but uh, I'm definitely going to go back here and hopefully the dippers will be here when the water level is a lot lesser. So hopefully I'm going to spend more time at the cottage photographing birds and wildlife around this area here. But uh, I am not at the cottage every weekend and uh, I have a limited of time. Therefore, I bought this uh, trail camera here so it can do, uh, do some work for me. My sister-in-law and my nephews were uh, at the cottage a couple of weeks ago and they were sending me an image of some droppings. And the droppings was of the black grouse. And I actually saw that it had some white um, and at the droppings and that means they are lacking in that area so i'm going now this weekend and uh, taking my kids with me and hopefully find that area there and i'm going to place the trail camera and that is, can be a really fun thing to do for the kids as well hopefully uh, see if there is some action and maybe find out how many birds there are and when the eastern come i'm going to take uh, the blind and place the blind around that area if it it's a good place though and it's activity and then I try to photograph the black grouse so that is one of the projects that I'm going to try I have no idea if I'm going to succeed I have no idea if the birds are still there and anything I just got that picture and I have to check that out I'm going to use this train camera for many things at the cottage uh, maybe I can find some hairs a uh, good place for hares and also when the ice melts I'm going to use it for trying to photograph more of the beaver at the local water. I'm going to use this trail camera to try to see if the beaver is still active there. I'm so looking forward to use this little tool there and that is really good because then I can use that tool there to prepare and see so next time I'm up in the cottage I can place blinds and starting to photograph and uh, use that advantage even uh, though I don't have the possibility to go around and check that area. Another thing we're going to do uh, when we are leaving up this weekend here, I'm going to take some nest boxes and put them around the cottage and uh, maybe we'll get the flycatcher in the nest box. I know there are fly, fly catchers coming back from back from Africa around May-ish and hopefully we can get some nesting uh, fly catchers that would be awesome. Also I have a plan to go up in the mountains area near my area here and try to photograph maybe ptarmigans or the blue throat. So those two species are the target to go up this mountain here and try to photograph them again 
uh, really beautiful birds, especially the blue throat with that blue and reddish colors around their throat. It's a really, really nice bird. So hopefully that will be, uh, yeah, some great times and maybe camping out and do some more videos about camping in the wild and shoot some wildlife birds and uh, yeah, have a great time. Also, uh, water birds are like uh, having some courtships and uh, one of them are the Great Crested Scree. And I don't know if you have seen the video that I did last year, I put a link uh, in the description and up here. Uh, so you can check that out if you want but i'm also going to use spend some more time early in the morning uh, before the sunrise and just lay there and hopefully get some courtship of the uh, creeps and uh, that would be awesome so black grouse and uh, great crested grebe and um, uh, the blue throat and maybe some ptarmigans uh, when the snow melts in the mountains so i have the possibility to come up there so that is my main targets this spring here but it's really good to have a plan uh, so i can use all kinds of tools and how i want to photograph them maybe picture in your head what you want uh, have a picture do you want it backlit uh, do you want it uh, more like action shots do you want this display shots and all these kinds of things are really good to plan in your head therefore you are more prepared when things happen and you can uh, yeah just get the mindset around that so i'm really looking forward to try this trail camera out i will show you some results uh, along the way maybe post some of them on the instagram account if i get some result of that so you can check that out and uh, oh yeah i can't wait from, for the spring and like i said it's so easy to get caught up and you wanted to cover cover everything but you just need to be calm and have a plan and you, you will succeed with one of the plans of course you cannot control animals or birds because they are wild but you can plan as good as you can and uh, hopefully you get some great images out of that so this is all for me this time here and I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.